From last year to this year, a lot has changed. Now you guys are gonna be first to know everything. Good morning to my lovelies and welcome back home. It feels so good to be in very, very sunny, gorgeous Milan. So good, especially after this like crazy marathon of fashion month. I still haven't unpacked my bags. I still have like two closed suitcases, but in my defense, I arrived home very late last night and I haven't seen Filippo in a while. So we were like, okay, you know what? Let's just have a shower, go to bed, watch something together and fall asleep. Because honestly, I just felt like that's what I really, really needed. So after all that craziness of like very fashion events work and stuff i wanted to do film like kind of a normal week or like at least a weekend or like few days in my life for you guys i just really crave that this kind of communication with you guys so that's what we're doing this is why i look very 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 not polished today because it's just like a normal day i actually put a ton of olaplex in my hair it looks like it's gelled up but it's just olaplex because i'm gonna wash it this evening i want to give it like extra care especially after all of those like hairstyles you know we did a lot right like we did hair pretty much every day sometimes twice a day and you know like you heat your hair like you use the tools you do different things as much as like i use dyson and the best products i still feel like i want to give it a break it deserves it right so today is actually a beauty day and my calendar says beauty day which means nobody is going to interrupt us i took off all of my jewelry well except from the missima hoops you guys know i love these i've been wearing these non-stop since fashion week i even sleep with them because they're so light i know many of you told me that you bought the same and that you you love them if you haven't noticed them before i will link them below for you to check them out but today is a beauty day i'm gonna take them off because we're gonna have a facial we're gonna have kind of like a spa day we're going to types of skin milan which is honestly just the best for the first time ever i'm also going to have like a body massage i'm gonna have a face massage i'm gonna have my nails done because next week i'm flying to new york we're doing like a huge production for a project i'm not sure if i can reveal it just yet which is very annoying when people say like oh i'm gonna film something very exciting that i cannot reveal but it's basically i'm I'm shooting like a, a big beauty thing you know so i want to have like perfect nails and i just want to look a bit more rested if that's okay one thing that i got very excited about last night as soon as i entered home this is what i saw look it says you did amazing baby love you it was just the cutest and also filippo knows what kind of flowers i love like they're my favorite it's like a mix of white and pink oh, so gorgeous and it just made my day to see this because honestly i mean i've told you guys fashion industry can be intense but to come home from like an intense marathon and to see like the support and the love that i have i just makes me feel so happy so yeah very very casual look we're gonna go now we're gonna do a nice little beauty day and then i'll come home and update you on all but it's just like a beautiful sunny day in milan oh guys also this week we'll be receiving i think this week more of our camelanda which i'm so happy for we've been waiting for what seems like forever so home will finally be like now i finally feel home here you know because the furniture is coming and it's not any more empty so that's really really nice you see i told you about the luggages in the back but it's fine we'll change it later on it's going to be my outfit very casual because at the end of the day i'll be quite all oiled up and i don't want to wear something fancy i have one of my favorite chanel sunglasses here as well really really cute and that is ladies and gentlemen the look of the day i also when i unpack i want to color coordinate this because this is the post fashion week disorganized situation we need to put it back in how i want it to be and i'm even thinking is it too early to start organizing these shelves for spring kind of moving maybe some winter styles mm, i don't know because Filippo and i might even still go to mountains yet but at the same time if i put these away it's not like they're going to be unreachable i could still swap them around let's see i also don't think i actually had this wardrobe when it was summer so i don't even know how the sandal organization is going to work we're gonna have to work it all as we go so now that i didn't do a facial for like almost a month right you know what i noticed on my skin or on my face really i got really tired during the fashion month so here i noticed like that my face started dropping Mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. you see like the lines the aging i'm old <laughs> these uh, not all. <laughs> I, I see a little bit yes because when you do the massage everything mm -hmm. goes up mm -hmm. and now i'm like oh my god i really so need to have my facial yeah. mm -hmm. 
morning guys new day and what have you missed since i last saw you well you saw that i went for like a nice little beauty pamper day i got really nice new shade on my nails let me show it to you so i normally go for the pinky nails this time i decided to go for this white milky color and honestly at first when i took the nails out of the lamp i was like i kind of hate it this is not me it's very strange for me it's too white and now i really like it it's still kind of the same vibe as usually anyway i have a meeting at 10 a.m it's 9 32 it's like 10 minute walk so it's fine so i'm gonna show you my outfit of the day first of all i've been wearing this bag every single day ever since i got it i love it so much it's so beautiful so chic but let me show you the look okay the mess will get cleared but i haven't actually worn these ever since i got them these chanel flats i love them very much because i think they add chicness to kind of like a more casual look always they're like the classic beige with the black toe cap and the chanel logo very basic normally Filippo hates ballerina flats but i wore these last night when we went out for dinner and he was like oh my god i love the shoes why don't you wear them more often so i was very surprised i mean you know well i guess people change their minds and i guess it depends how you style them i decided to show you the rest here just because of the mess in the background there i have these jeans these are by totem i love them i wear them all the time like i told you i'm constantly wearing this new constance ever since i unboxed it and then you might be wondering what is this now this is actually filippo's jacket here we go hopefully you can see the detailing because it has these like pythony cutouts the jacket is from Celine. I also have my Kelly belt that is kind of perfectly matching the palladium hardware and just a black unicorn turtleneck. So this is it. This is very, very casual, but it's kind of like my modern chic everyday look with the jeans, belt, bag. Oh, I just love this bag. Love, love, love it. Guys, so today it's actually not been that beautiful of a day. Yesterday was so sunny. It was like 19 degrees. You don't need a jacket in Milan anymore. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed. Yesterday I spent the whole day in bed because after the fashion marathon I needed it. But what I wanted to fill you in are so many things that I just have been really wanting to talk to you about but maybe i should get my coffee hold on make yourself a cup of coffee it's not even that early in the morning this is like my merenda o'clock like sort of like an afternoon coffee time so where what i wanted to fill you in on so i think last things that you've seen properly me properly talking to you guys was i put like a ton of hair mask i went to ministry of nails or actually types of skin and uh, i basically had a face massage which you've seen incredible it always like tightens my skin it just lifts it you know and she was especially wearing Working on my cheeks because my cheeks are very tense so i need to relax them anyway yeah. besides that i got home i washed my hair i just did like a nice little air wrap like literally that's the fastest i can get my hair done is with air wrap it gives me like nice volume my boyfriend is always very impressed because it doesn't give like too much of a curl but it gives this kind of nice like a chic blow dry style i can definitely film how i do it in one of the next videos but like the only place where i can't really go in i have like naturally curly hair and quite coarse hair you know it's like around here you can see it's not really perfect but i mean for like a 10 minute job it's pretty good right then this morning i had a little meeting and actually because i love to talk to you guys about these like looking after myself moments and what i really really think is making a huge impact on my skin is this led mask this is not sponsored i just bought this with my own money like no discounts i don't even know this brand like who they are to be honest i just read reviews that it was very good i will link it below in case you're interested it's very expensive but it's an amazing amazing thing that i think has been really changing how my skin looks and how i look because it's a little bit creepy yeah anyway so i've been using this for like a month now and honestly like all over my tiktok all i can see is the red light therapy so it has red light okay there's red light it has blue light and it has pink light one is kind of like for well red light you guys know is anti-aging and all that good stuff blue is like for spots and calming down and pink is like repairing i believe i mainly use red light to be honest with you and i kind of try and use it as much as possible but uh, i haven't actually brought this with me when i was traveling for fashion weeks because i'm gonna be honest it's not convenient to travel this is like really clunky and annoying like where am i gonna put it i don't think i can put it in my luggage maybe i can because of the battery you know it contains the battery right it charges then if i put it in my hand luggage it takes up all the space of my hand luggage so it's like very annoying but i have three long haul flights and let me tell you something i will be wearing this on the plane so i don't know what like my air 
hostesses are gonna say but when i flew to new york last time remember i was like mask and my assistant arrived before me and she told me that when she was out with the driver he was holding my name and the air hostess came out and she said yeah tomorrow we saw her on the plane she's the one with the face mask and i was like and they were just a sheet mask so i don't know what they're gonna think when they see me with the led mask on anyway that's one thing i wanted to update you on that i really really think like red light is so incredible and in fact i'm testing another one not like for face I'll, I'll tell you about it when i know more about it again not sponsored just really genuine bought this with my own money love it it's just that when like people speak about things like this other people often think it's sponsored because it's like so random but it's just like i'm full of random information i thought we already knew this by now what else i wanted to update you on it is today three days until my birthday when you're watching this i think it will be like two days or one day until my birthday anyway how does that make me feel well i'm gonna go into that later on i think but one thing is for sure it means that it's three days until i can eat sweets a lot of you have asked me like how come i don't eat dessert if you don't really follow regularly all my videos etc but i haven't been eating sweets now since first of january this year i never eat sweets from first of january every year until my birthday it's just the thing i've been doing now for like three four years i think it's just incredible incredible what when i say i don't eat sweets i don't eat like sugar of course there's sugar in everything like i eat fruits i also eat like sugar if it's like in pasta or in in pizza or in bread i'm not gonna cut everything completely like all the carbs what i mean is i don't eat any desserts so there's no chocolate there's no ice cream no desserts and trust me the amount of times that i've had to explain myself at events it's so annoying oh but you know it is what it is it's my personal choice i do not eat sweet and like it's so crazy like how just taking out the dessert because i normally eat a lot of sweets right i would buy like a bag of nutella biscuits and i would eat it all I know but uh, the fact that i just don't eat for two and a half months desserts my mind and my body is completely different person so like my mind is very clear it's very easy for me to wake up in the mornings it's very easy i don't know like i just feel like so much clarity in my brain the way i can multitask the way i can do things it's just incredibly easy whereas my body so i think like i lose some weight around my waist like my size is a bit smaller but i don't really see it you know what i mean it's not really that obvious though some people say it is but it's just really weird that i'm always like slimmest january february because i don't eat sugar and then i kind of you know get it all back once i continue eating sugar the one thing that i thought of doing this year i'm gonna try and actually consume sugar only on the weekends because i can notice what a great impact no desserts has on me just on my mind specifically is like most incredible how good i feel when i'm not consuming so much sugar anyway that being said in this video it's like a very random vlog as you can see me being at home it's just because i feel like i really want to speak to you guys i feel like deprived of this conversation so i'm giving you more updates this week i'm traveling to new york and it's really crazy that i'm going to new york for like two nights i think that's a short maybe not but i think that's the shortest i've ever actually went to new york for i'm going there to shoot a beauty i think i mentioned at the beginning of this video like a beauty i don't want to say a campaign because campaign people like throw around that word like everything is a campaign you know campaign is only one thing it is the i'll insert what a campaign is but people call campaign also like when they're doing like a one instagram post that is sponsored that's not a campaign it's a sponsored post you know what i mean like so i don't want to throw around the word campaign but actually we're shooting for the brand and it's going to be like a really big production and brand is producing everything so it's going to be very very different for me and i'm very much looking forward to it but at the same time guys for the first time in my life there's one thing i work i can work any day of the year i think by now you know that i'm not scared of working i'm not scared of getting up early in the morning i'm not scared of traveling for work to work like two days in new york and to come back but guys i will be filming all day on my birthday and that at first i was a little bit sad about because i don't want to make like a sub story out of it you know but my birthdays are very important to me my parents have always like tried to make it really special for me when i was a kid because they always worked really hard while i was a kid and the birthdays were like special days then like my mom would say like it's okay i'll take a day off work to be there with you for your birthday etc so it was like very special always and when i found out i'll be shooting all day on my birthday i was like no 
it's like my day, you know. But Filippo's the best boyfriend in the world, as we know. He actually is going to come to New York with me so that he's with me on my birthday. And then we're going to have like a nice day. Like I will probably vlog it all. So you guys will be part of it all as well. And I don't know, like somehow it just kind of feels crazy that I'll be going to New York this week. It'll be my birthday. And it makes me like reflect as well. I don't know who else does this when it comes to your birthday and you just think about like, where was I last year and where am I this year? And last year, this time, we didn't even have a home. And that's one thing that I'm the most, most, most grateful for is that this year I have a place that I'm very comfortable at, I'm very happy at. And it's just like every year, if I compare where I am on my birthday, it always makes me a little bit like, I don't know, like emotional. So let me tell you a few things. From last year to this year, a lot has changed. The most important thing is that I feel like I have a home where I feel very homey, right? I think what has changed so much besides that is that we really kind of structured my team and the company in a certain ways. I'm trying to build in and put more structure in the way we work so that we work when we work and we don't work when we don't work. I think I feel a lot more relaxed with everything. And ever since I became like more relaxed with work and like have like more relaxed approach, which doesn't mean I work less, but it means that I'm like less anxious about things. Things have started being so much better as well. I think that somehow I've changed in so many different ways. But people say that like we change every seven years, right? Like we completely change, like every cell in your body changes and subsequently you could also change mentally. And I don't know, like I'm 33. So I feel like I've changed a lot since when I was 30. Like I'm a completely different person. I need to sit down and I need to write a letter of exactly where I want to be next year this time. So many things to consider, right? So yeah, I'm making some big decisions and deciding on a lot of things that are coming, which I think you guys are gonna know soon about. So that's that. I still feel like I'm 23 though, inside. Is that normal? Like in some things I'm so mature, in other things I'm so immature. Anyway, um, so that being said, this March I will have trips to New York. As you guys know, I will be flying to China for the first time ever. That's pretty crazy. I've never been to China. I am very excited, especially considering that some of you guys know that my parents spent a lot of time in China in the 80s because my dad did his master's degree in China and he spent a lot of time there. He learned Chinese while Mandarin and my mom was visiting him all the time because my mom was pregnant actually with my sister when uh, my dad went to China so like you know they were kind of like building family and stuff and my dad was doing his master's degree like crazy to even think that especially back in the day when probably to fly to China was like two days a journey not that it's gonna take me a lot less but I'm going to China and I'm very excited in fact I have two China trips confirmed this year now you guys are gonna be first to know everything and then I will be going to India hopefully end of month I've just applied for my visa for India so that's kind of happening at the moment. Also in this vlog, I'm going to show you some of my latest Chanel purchases because I have decided to, like the new collection came out and your girl was like, you know what I mean, I just, yeah. So that's some of the things that have been on my mind that I decided to share with you. Hope you don't mind. And now I'm going to go and work through my to-do list of like million things that I have to do today. Tomorrow, we're also gonna go to Hermes, kind of like a Reese, and I think I'm gonna include it in this vlog as well, because I genuinely really want you guys to see all of those things up close as well, specifically talking about the Birkin Cellier fringe and the Birkin harness, you know, the one that you can wear crossbody or on the shoulder. So that's pretty cool.
top of everything, you guys, I have to tell you a few things. Thing number one is I have worn this bag. I think I told you this morning, like every single day, ever since I got it. I love it so, 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 so much. But I'm so incredibly... Where is it? I haven't managed to tidy this shelf. Like, it's so busy. I need to fix it. I'm so incredibly impressed with all the amazing comments that I received from you guys about this bag. The Maximoch. Love it so much. Sac Maximoch, I think it's called, in my last video. And I really, really love it too. But, you know, I thought, like, people are going to be like, yeah, it's another non-quota bag, whatever. Wait, I need to figure out how this tucks in. Let's see. So first of all, I know that you can open this up. I think I told you that I dropped uh, my camera during Paris Fashion Week and the lens is broken. So now I'm vlogging on a different lens, which isn't my most ideal one for this kind of videos. But sometimes you just have to do what you have to do until the new lens arrives. So this is with the tucked in shoulder strap it fully like tucks in here on top i don't know if you can really tell because the light is quite tricky but i really love it and i can't wait to wear it like this i think it's really cute obviously the like price of this bag is way 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 better than like it's like half a constance if that helps and i really love the detailing on it i think it's so gorgeous i need to like straighten it a bit because the way i closed it is not ideal there we go that's much better so really really love this bag so special and so cool if you ask me anyway that aside also wanted to show you one other thing so this is my current fashion week aftermath i actually have so much going on here because i need to organize it i obviously got quite a lot of new things during the fashion month including this bag that was gifted to me from louis vuitton including the match and match bag including the new prada moon bag then the new bags that i brought home and then something that you haven't actually seen this is my new bag now let me talk you through it i think for the light purposes and for the purposes that this room yep i needs to organize everything we're gonna go to the living room i think this better first things first i actually wanted to show you this bag because i was traveling through heathrow terminal 5 when i was going from london because after paris after the crazy 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 strike situation i managed to get my flight to london i was in london for two days with my sister my <laughs> extended kids and the dog and when flying back home i stopped by at chanel at terminal 5 i always do that i love it like i cannot not stop at chanel terminal 5 okay so i saw this bag it was completely unintended purchase it's from the latest collection and the price is just so good especially now that like obviously all the flaps crazy situation we all know it right not even gonna go into it but the point is this is a canvas bag so it's a navy i haven't even managed to peel off the plastic yet oh, wait let's do it there we go that is it it is a canvas navy bag and i'm going through that navy phase that we all know about right is it the same as my huge giant chanel xxl i think this is smaller let's go and verify that it's actually full of random like snacks so this is the black one and this is the navy one i think that the black is the bigger than the navy and it's more slouchy and obviously it is like a black perforated leather with silver or i want to say like a gun metal like a black sort of silver hardware this is navy with gold hardware so i already have one navy bag which is my navy cargo with palladium hardware so this would be different it's more casual it fits a ton i think this will fit my laptop as well my ipad anything you want really it's a perfect bag and what i love about it is so easy to clean you just take a cloth or the lint roller and you can get rid of all the hairs and things like that plus for summer like if i go to lake como with my boyfriend and we drive for a weekend i just need like hand luggage and this bag and i can fit everything i want and i can have like a white summery dry and sandals and that like a blue navy i'm really going through that strong navy navy face now i have some other bits that i just got at chanel which are ready to wear and i really want to show them to you but i can see that my battery is running out so we're gonna have to charge up a little bit and then i'm gonna have to continue this vlog in a moment but yeah until then if you'd like me to do a more detailed review or like comparison of these two bags let me know i think this is honestly like it was such a great buy and it's the latest collection so if you're interested in getting like a huge chanel of this kind now is the time 
Guys, forgot to tell you something quite important. I think that some of you will remember that I have Chanel 19 uh, navy bag, which is kind of similarish size in navy tweed. And I wore that bag a lot. I've even written a dedicated a blog post uh, reviewing it. However, I'm not a huge fan of Chanel 19 anymore. I used to be, especially because it's the last Carl's bag, sort of like the last one that became one of the classics. Mm, however, I never really wear that bag anymore. And I'm more like kind of like you guys know heading towards the classics and basics like the flap it is where it's at for me i think so yeah i just i bought this bag based on the experience of how much i've loved the black one so i think i will love the navy one as much it's just that i will wear it more in the summer months whereas the black one i'll probably wear more in the winter months that's it also i want to tell you that lots of you and i'm so grateful for it have been asking me how's my little toe doing after my fashion week drama and honestly it's incredible how fast the human body heels but even before the end of paris fashion week it was like brand new yesterday when i went for a massage or whatever it was i could feel it a little bit when the lady was like touching my feet but like tiny 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 little bit and honestly like she was very obviously gentle and I, after i told her so it's all fine i think it's like perfectly healed almost forgot all about it that's what i can tell you now i'm going to work a little bit on my blog we have a lot of new blog posts I'm not actually sure if you guys are reading my blog. If not, you should do because I have a lot of stuff there that I think you guys will like, including, for example, obviously like everything that I show on my Instagram, you can always shop it on here. So you have all the like Instagram posts that you can kind of shop directly, etc. But also like I, we managed to summarize all the New York Fashion Week, London Fashion Week, Milan Fashion Week of uh, outfits. And I think tomorrow I'll have Paris Fashion Week as well. So by the time you're watching this, you will have all the looks from the whole of the fashion month shoppable on the blog so i hope you will enjoy that because we put a lot of attention and love into it guys i don't even know where to start well first of all i'll start by asking you guys you also have like a favorite t-shirt because i have a favorite t-shirt it's this gray one it's just the softest what is going on with my hair it's this gray softest one from the row i just adore it i think it's just so comfy and cozy and when i'm at home i also like feel put together but i'm wearing this t-shirt so i really really love it anyway yesterday i tried to color coordinate my shoes a little bit better i still have these two shelves to do but i managed this but what i realized i have actually a massage in 30 minutes my lovely lovely ladies coming to help me fix me a little bit actually i'm quite fixed while you're watching this i'm most likely on the plane to new york so i just wanted to have like like a nice lymphatic drainage before I go so that I help my body and my metabolism process the water better. It's just very important for me because I'm someone that really, really retains water. Anyway, I also bought, guys, so many of you will be excited. You guys know that I have a skeleton deformity, right? Hence my posture. Even if I straighten, the most I can straighten my back, I feel like it's still not straight and my head goes forward. And I used to go to physio, I tried everything, but I bought like something new that is supposed to keep your back straight and I'm gonna try it hopefully I'm gonna try it after the massage but I can't try it for too long because it can actually cause like back injury because your muscles are not used to it so we're gonna try and see how it goes Filippo has been wearing it so hopefully it should work for me too I mean so far I've tried pretty much everything that's the one of the last results but I realized that before my lovely physio lady comes I am going to do this unboxing that I haven't actually done properly yesterday so the new collection has just landed at Chanel I don't really go as crazy as I used to shopping at Chanel. What is this? Hmm. Some kind of catalog of watches. Yeah. Mm. I mean, I love you Chanel, but I'm through and through a Demar Piguet lady, which is not on my wrist now because I removed all the jewelry since the massage is going to take place in a minute. I have nothing, which obsesses Filippo sometimes because he's like, why are you not wearing my diamond pendant I gave you? But I'll put it on. So shall we start with the smaller or the larger item? Let's start with the smaller one. It's really cute. I actually picked something different. If I can find a picture of the top, I'll insert it. But then the lady brought me this from the back and when I tried it on, I was like, yeah, I'll take this one. And it's a very simple viscose material, black strappy top, which has like three buttons in the front. Very, very simple. This would be my kind of go-to black top for, you know, when you just want to like wear like a black blazer or any color blazer. I'll show you the detailing of the buttons 
in the front i think it's quite cute and also has this like chanel logo hanging here the other top that i tried resembled more my like white chanel top which just has like a logo here that was the idea behind buying this i wore that top so much that the price per wear is like pennies let me see if i can find it this is the tank top i'm talking about it has also like a kind of logo and the black one that i wanted to get was very similar to this one but wow i have too many tops as it seems i need to do a huge closet clear out honestly this is going a bit out of hand at the moment and now something's attached to camellia to my leg anyway so i just really like this like simple classic top very light summery easy nowadays <laughs> i prefer logo not to be so visible but um yeah it is what it is and then something bigger very classic i have to say with virgin Yard, i like i used to kind of really really love the tweed jackets that carl used to do and with virginie i'm more like sort of leaning towards knitwear i think she does more like cardigans and knits perhaps though my first ever ready to wear piece of chanel was a knit and it was like carl's collection i don't know anyway this item here is what i got it's a white cashmere cable knit cardigan with navy blue my favorite color and pink stripe used to be my favorite color current favorite color also has like cc buttons now she's also doing more camellia and less cc but i think this is a little bit more commercial i don't know i tried this on and i really liked the casual nonchalant vibe let me show it to you the material is just divine i have to say but like this with the denim jeans and i actually have like pink ballerina flats i'd say i'm not a huge pink fan but clearly i have some shoes in pink I don't know what to tell you so it's very casual and cute and now i have like a navy chanel bag and you know look at this quite sweet right i like it anyway i think it's giving such kind of like a rich mother vibes but it is what it is i really really like it doesn't have anything on the sleeves except these two stripes and yeah i i like it i think it's quite cute so that's what i got at chanel now i'm gonna get rid of this rubbish and i'm gonna go and take out my massage bed because my massage is going to take place shortly guys can you even see me so i finished my massage i am just having a ham and cheese toast i don't even know which direction this vlog is going but i can tell you that yeah today i posted you know how now on instagram you can post these statuses i posted that i need today's day to be 36 hours that's how i feel but the massage was epic i got a toast from Marquesi, it's so good. The massage was good, I didn't show it to you, but I think you can tell by my face that I almost fell asleep. That's kind of that. And now I'm going to pack because I have a, yeah, well, to pack to New York, but I'll probably put that in the next vlog. Now my assistant is coming to bring me packages from the agency because I have like so many packages coming. I need to shoot the project for Miu Miu later on today. So that should be going live soon. And, um, yeah i just don't have time oh yes 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 i know what else i want to put in this vlog i want to bring you with me to the hermes see. so that's what we're gonna do okay i'm not gonna finish the vlog here i'm gonna finish this toast shoot me mew go to hermes and then we're gonna finish the vlog <laughs> okay guys my mew mew look has arrived i really love this look i don't know if you have actually seen it already it's from the same collection that uh the look was that i wore at the show love it it's basically a shirt then there's knit over it and this is kind of like a belt if that makes sense this is the infamous Miu Miu box that we're gonna unbox now i think i'm also gonna unbox it for tiktok as well but surely you'll be able to also see it on my instagram loving the navy i mean how many times have i told you in this video that i'm really 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 obsessed with navy at the moment i actually had a massage today as you guys know and i have like crinkled face all over my face because i'm a dehydrated person so when i'm lying on my face no bueno anyway i need to change my outfit because we're going to air my cocktail right and i actually ordered something that is completely sold out everywhere in the world except in i think deville and monaco and this particular product flew all the way to me from deville so let me show it to you i mean i don't think that my purchases are often that random because i always think about them quite wisely and i don't want this video to be filled with purchases but honestly this is something that i've been wanting and i saw during fashion week previous one and this one so finally it's here and i want to wear it tonight at the hermes cocktail this is my shopping receipt oh my god it's so gorgeous so it is the same body but this is a top that i wore during paris fashion week the fashion show the hermes one and this one is in white 
color. I don't know if you can really see the detailing of the material. Hopefully the light will help me a little bit, but it's like a gorgeous cut in the front and it comes in like three different colors, sort of like a beige one, this white one, and also the brownie burgundy one that I wore. Yeah, it's apparently the most in demand top of the season. And after I wore it in the burgundy color at Paris Fashion Week, I was like, I really need to have it. So I think what I'm gonna wear tonight is this top, black trousers, over there i've been wearing it non-stop and, and and then like a black blazer so very classic very chic very basic then i don't know what else i need to do but i need to do a lot of other things i will start remove the rubbish retouch my makeup and we're gonna get going okay quick iphone capture my constants when you are messed up this is a blazer from Medea. trousers are brunello cuccinelli and my favorite Shoes. Okay guys, this is the piece. Look at this, so gorgeous. Very nice. We got a glass of champagne and I am trying on bags. But honestly, the ready to wear is so strong. I'm loving the colors. I just think the color palette of this collection was insane. And then we have the bucket with the, remember like the detailing from CDC, Collier de Chien. It's also really, really nice. Of course, yes. more like Mysterian inspired details. And the boots that I actually think is very cool and very modern. Guys, I'm back home. Philip was home too. Wow, I look like, honestly, no comment. Loved this top. Everybody was like, oh my god, it's so gorgeous. I just like kind of think it's so, so beautiful. Anyway, that's not the point. The point is that now I think I need to bring this video to the end. <sighs> the Hermes Fall Winter 23 collection is probably the most 360 collection that I've ever seen from the brand. I know I've spoken about this before. What I mean by that is that it wasn't just strong in accessories and generally like leather goods, what everybody seems to be leaning most towards when it comes to a mess but it was so strong and right away bye baby philip was going to shower he likes to announce it so i know i think like what was really strong is right to wear and i'm really really loving Hermes right to wear as you can see a lot lately i have quite a bit in my wardrobe and it's just because it keeps getting better and better and i think that people also can see that that's the direction where she's going to it's never been that strong i think right to wear as it is now but now it's like gorgeous the color palette like those kind of yellow grays browns burgundy are just it's just insane i love the detailing the kind of little bell detailing and on top of everything the model that was modeling the clothes in the showroom in Milan is Serbian so I could even talk to her a little bit in Serbian which was very very nice so that's it I'm gonna leave you here I love you lots you guys if you're not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe it means a lot to me I'm gonna go finish all my business and yeah next video will be getting ready for New York bye